Hello and a very warm welcome. Sir Guy Sorotkin announced as Williams driver and that completes the 2018 lineup. It's a poor lineup for Williams. Williams have Lance Stroll, Sir Guy Sorotkin, the former GP2 driver. The Russian has got the seat ahead of Kubica, ahead of De Resta. Basically, for years, De Resta's been the reserve driver. That will now go to Robert Kubica. So Kubica will be doing a few practice sessions. But basically, Kubica's finished. He's not returning. It's sad news. But Sir Rockin gets the seat. It's a poor lineup for Williams. Think of all the great drivers they've had in the past. Senna, Piquet, Mansell, Prost, Ralph Schumacher, Montoya, Mark Webber. The wonder man, Pastor Maldonado. And now they've got Lance Stroll and Sergei Sorokin. The one word that sticks out to me is inexperience. Lance Stroll deserves to be in F1 after last year. Great qualifying Italy, podium at Baku. But he's only had one year in the sport. And now they've gone for Sorokin, the former GP2 driver. Used to be, I'm pretty sure he used to be Renault test driver or reserve driver. That's the only experience he has in Formula 1. It's a poor lineup. For me, it's one of the worst lineups. I mean, Williams, what's happening? From, like I say, winning championships to winning races, and now what are they? They're a mid-table mid F1 team. No ambition. I mean, the last time they won a race, unbelievably, was Pastor Maldonado in 2012. Maldonado won a race. I still cannot believe he won a race. But... It's a poor lineup, inexperienced lineup, not good enough for Williams. But for me, they might as well have kept Massa. Massa's an experienced campaigner, 300 F1 races under his belt. They might have keep Stroll. Learning from a veteran like Massa would improve the team, but they'll have an awful season this season with that lineup. Stroll will, I mean, let's give him a chance. But it's just striking to me. Pay, pay. Money, money, money speaks over talent. Stroll is a money-paid driver, but he performed last season in a couple of races, like Baku, like Italy qualifying. And Sorokin's got a bob or two, and just money. It's Ericsson as well. He, he's keeping his seat due to money. It's not talent. I want to see talent like Charles Leclerc getting in the sport. Deserves it. Wins the GP2 title. So Rockkin, I think he's won a couple of races in GP2, F2, whatever you want to call it. Never won the title and he's got an F1 seat. So, I mean, you think about the lineups. Maybe actually Toro Rosso is as bad as Williams. Pierre Gasly, Brendan Hartley, inexperience again. But they've had a couple of races under their belt. So Rockkin's coming in. What can he do? So Paul De Resta, he was Williams' reserve driver. His career's done. Over. Paul De Resta's not returning. And it's probably the same for Kubica. Because you look at reserve drivers. De Resta was there for ages. Did one race for hung in Hungary when Massa was ill. And that's all he did, really. And then you look at Button. He was reserve driver for McLaren. And he's finished now. So basically, Kubica, I can't see it returning. There's a reason Renault didn't take him. And you thought to yourself, why aren't Renault taking Robert Kubica? They've got first dibs on him. And obviously Williams have found the same solution as Renault. And they haven't taken him. They've given him the reserve driver role. So, first video in a couple of months. Hope you all had a good Christmas. Happy New Year. But, yeah, first video back. 2018 grid is now official. Every driver seat is filled. And for me, it's a poor lineup from Williams' F1 team. But Sorokin, I mean, he must have he must have shown pace when he's been in the car. He must have shown good pace to get the nod ahead of De Resta and Kubica. But I would have put an experienced driver in with Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll's only been in the sport one year. I would have put De Resta in there, Kubica, Kubica race winner. Don't forget. Was great in BMW Sauber. De Resta's had 50-odd races under his belt. Massa, 300 races in F1. Nearly won the title in 2008. So, they haven't gone for the experience. They've gone for any experience. Williams, 
in my opinion, could be struggling for 2018. Inexperienced lineup, but let's see what happens. Uh, January the 16th today, we've got still two months to wait till the F1 season. Obviously, testing will be before. Probably we'll do a video about the driver lineup because it is official now. Every driver seat is filled. So, the big breaking news well, it's not big breaking news. I'm, I won't clickbait the title, it broke about three or four hours ago. Williams F1 team driver lineup for 2018. 2018, Lance Stroll, the Canadian, and Sergei Sorokin from Russia. It's Williams' lineup. One word that strikes out to me inexperience. Let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Adios.